The ancient Maya, an extraordinary civilization whose achievements in astronomy, architecture, and art left an indelible mark on human history. But as we admire their cultural and scientific innovations, a question lingers. What secrets lie in their DNA? What makes it so unique that modern science is still unraveling its mysteries? Imagine this. Within their genetic code are clues to ancient migrations, adaptation to harsh environments, and even a glimpse into their sacred rituals. How could a civilization that thrived thousands of years ago hold such a profound legacy in their biology? And why does their DNA stand out so sharply compared to other indigenous groups in the Americas? In this video, we'll explore the fascinating story of Mayan DNA, how it connects them to their ancient ancestors in Asia, why their genetic diversity is both surprising and enlightening, and what makes it a treasure trove for scientists today. But that's not all. We'll also uncover the mysteries of their unique genetic markers, their ties to far-flung indigenous groups, and how their cultural practices might have shaped their genetics in unexpected ways. By the end of this journey, you'll see why the Mayan genetic story is not just a tale of the past but a living testament to their resilience, adaptability, and influence. So, stay with us as we decode the ancient secrets of Mayan DNA, secrets that could change how we understand human history itself. To understand why Mayan DNA is so unique, we need to start at the very beginning, their origins. The story begins tens of thousands of years ago, with the first human migrations from Asia to the Americas. These early pioneers crossed the Bering Land Bridge, a now-submerged connection between Siberia and Alaska, during the last Ice Age, roughly 40,000 to 15,000 years ago. This epic journey wasn't just a physical migration, it was the beginning of genetic diversity in the Americas. Among these ancient travelers were the ancestors of the Maya. Genetic studies reveal that these groups carried distinctive markers, such as the haplogroups Q1A2A1A1 asterisk M3 and Q1A2A1 asterisk L54, which remain nearly exclusive to the Mayan people today. These markers are like ancient fingerprints, showing their lineage and tracing their journey as they moved southward over thousands of years. By around 10,000 years ago, these early populations had reached Mesoamerica, where the Maya would later rise to prominence. At first, they lived as hunter-gatherers, relying on the rich resources of the region's forests, rivers, and coastlines. But then came a transformative moment, the shift to agriculture. This wasn't just about planting seeds, it was about planting the foundations of a civilization. By domesticating crops like maize and cultivating their environment, these early Mayan ancestors created surplus food, which allowed their communities to grow and thrive. As populations expanded, so did their interactions, trade, alliances, and even conflicts. This intense exchange of goods and ideas played a crucial role in shaping the Mayan genetic makeup, promoting a level of internal gene flow that few other indigenous groups have experienced. The first recognizable Mayan settlements emerged around 4,000 years ago in Petén, central Guatemala. This region, often called the birthplace of Mayan civilization, became a hub for cultural and genetic exchange. Here, we find the roots of the complex city-state system that would define the Maya for centuries to come. As the Maya spread across what is now Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador, they adapted to a variety of environments, from the dense rainforests of the lowlands to the mountainous highlands. This environmental diversity may have contributed to the genetic variation we see among different Mayan groups today. The origins of the Maya are not just a story of survival and adaptation. They are a testament to resilience and ingenuity. Their journey from Siberian migrants to Mesoamerican pioneers laid the groundwork for a civilization that would influence human history and leave a lasting imprint on their DNA. Now that we've traced the origins of the Mayan people, let's delve into what makes their DNA so distinct. The unique genetic traits of the Maya aren't just anomalies, they are windows into their history, environment, and cultural practices. One of the most striking revelations comes from studies of mitochondrial DNA, or mtDNA, which is passed down exclusively through maternal lines. Among the Maya, researchers have identified four primary haplogroups, A, B, C, and D. These are common among Native American populations, but it's the specific distribution and frequencies of these haplogroups within the Maya that stand out. For example, Studies reveal that Yucatecan Maya show greater genetic diversity compared to their Guatemalan counterparts. 
This is likely a result of the Yucatecan region's robust trade networks and interactions with neighboring cultures, which facilitated gene flow and created a melting pot of genetic diversity. On the paternal side, the Y chromosome tells an equally compelling story. Nearly all Mayan males belong to two key haplogroups, Q1A2A1A1 asterisk M3 and Q1A2A1 L54. These markers are rare outside of the Americas and serve as a genetic signature of the Maya's ancient lineage. What's fascinating is how uniform these markers are across different Mayan populations, from the rainforests of Guatemala to the limestone plains of the Yucatan. This genetic homogeneity suggests a strong shared ancestry among the Maya, despite their geographic and linguistic diversity. But there's more to the story. Immunogenetic markers, like the human leukocyte antigen, HLA, polymorphisms, provide further insights into the Maya's genetic uniqueness. These markers play a critical role in the immune system, helping the body recognize and fight pathogens. Surprisingly, the Maya show genetic similarities with groups as geographically distant as the Inupiate of Alaska and the Yapi of Brazil. This connection hints at deep ancestral ties that stretch across the Americas, offering a glimpse into ancient migration patterns. What's particularly intriguing about these immunogenetic markers is their evolutionary significance. Over millennia, the Maya adapted to their environment, developing genetic traits that likely helped them survive diseases and environmental challenges. For example, HLA polymorphisms found in the Maya show evidence of adaptation to tropical diseases, which would have been a constant threat in the humid lowlands of Mesoamerica. Even within the Maya themselves, there's a surprising amount of genetic variation. Studies comparing subgroups, such as the Keish, Yucatecan, and Kakhaikal Maya, reveal subtle differences that reflect their unique histories and interactions with other populations. Yet, despite these variations, the Maya as a whole exhibit a level of genetic diversity that's unusually high for Native American groups. The Maya's unique genetic traits are a testament to their resilience, adaptability, and interconnectedness. Their DNA doesn't just tell the story of their past. It's a living archive of their evolution, culture, and survival. As we unravel these genetic mysteries, we gain not only a deeper understanding of the Maya but also a clearer picture of humanity's shared journey. The genetic story of the Maya isn't just about migration or adaptation. It's deeply intertwined with their culture and religion. The way the Maya lived, worshipped, and even sacrificed had a profound impact on their genetic makeup, shaping their DNA in unique ways. One of the most intriguing links between Mayan culture and genetics lies in their ritual practices. The discovery of skeletal remains at Kaichen Itza in an underground cistern called a Choltun revealed chilling evidence of child sacrifice. DNA extracted from these remains showed that some of the children were siblings, including identical twins. This revelation connects directly to Mayan mythology, particularly the story of the hero twins from the sacred text, the Popol Vuh. In the myth, the twins undergo cycles of sacrifice and resurrection, a theme that resonates deeply with the concept of offering life to appease the gods. Twins held special significance in Mayan religion, symbolizing duality and balance. The sacrifice of twins wasn't just a ritual. It was a reenactment of their mythology, a way to maintain cosmic order. Over time, these practices likely influenced genetic patterns, particularly when familial or sibling sacrifices were involved. Another factor influencing Mayan genetics was the collapse of their great city-states. The downfall of these centers of power was driven by ecological disasters, warfare, and disease. Each of these events created genetic bottlenecks, reducing the diversity of specific populations. For example, the Keish and Kakhaikal Maya exhibit signs of the founder effect, where small surviving groups carried forward limited genetic variation after major population declines. But not all Mayan groups were affected equally. The Yucatecan Maya, for instance, show greater genetic heterogeneity, likely because of their robust trade networks and interactions with other Mesoamerican cultures. This connection to trade and commerce wasn't just about goods. It brought new genetic influences, increasing their diversity compared to more isolated groups. The Maya's cultural practices, from their elaborate ceremonies to their interactions with neighboring civilizations, also fostered gene flow within their vast domain. The city states, while politically distinct, were connected by trade routes and shared religious rituals, facilitating movement and mixing of populations. This is reflected in genetic studies showing minimal partitioning among different Mayan groups despite their geographic spread. 
Even today, the impact of Mayan cultural practices is evident in their DNA. Genetic markers show how their ancestors survived environmental pressures, adapted to tropical diseases, and maintained a complex society in some of the most challenging landscapes in the world. Their DNA doesn't just carry the story of survival. It carries the essence of their culture and beliefs. The interplay between Mayan culture and genetics is a reminder that DNA isn't just a biological code. It's a reflection of how people lived, loved, and worshipped. The Maya's genetic legacy is as much a product of their environment as it is of their enduring traditions, offering us a deeper connection to one of history's most fascinating civilizations. To truly understand why Mayan DNA is so unique, we must look beyond the Maya and compare their genetic traits to those of other indigenous populations in the Americas. These comparisons reveal both shared ancestry and remarkable distinctions that set the Maya apart. Let's start with the similarities. Genetic studies show that Native American groups, including the Maya, share a common origin in Siberia. Haplogroups like Q1A2A1 asterisk L54 and Q1A2A1A1 asterisk M3, which dominate Mayan DNA, are also found in other indigenous populations across North and South America. For example, the Inupiat of Alaska and the Aymara of South America share certain genetic markers with the Maya, a testament to the ancient migrations that connected these distant groups. Yet, despite these shared roots, the Maya exhibit higher levels of interpopulation genetic diversity compared to other Native American groups. This diversity is surprising, considering their geographic isolation in Mesoamerica. What sets the Maya apart is the extent of gene flow within their population. Their interconnected city-states and thriving trade networks allowed for significant movement of people, blending genetic traits and fostering a level of variation that other indigenous groups didn't achieve to the same degree. This contrasts sharply with the patterns seen in more isolated groups, such as the Nadine-speaking populations of North America. These groups show limited genetic variation, likely due to restricted interactions and smaller population sizes. The Maya, on the other hand, benefited from their central location and a culture that emphasized interaction and exchange, both of which enriched their genetic diversity. Another fascinating distinction is how the Maya's immune system markers, such as HLA polymorphisms, differ from those of other Native American groups. These markers reveal unique adaptations to tropical diseases, setting the Maya apart from populations in colder climates, such as the Alaskan Eskimos. While the Eskimos adapted to their harsh Arctic environment, the Maya developed resistance to the pathogens that thrived in their humid, subtropical homeland. Even in the context of their southern neighbors, the Maya stand out. Haplogroup studies show that while South American populations, such as the Quechua and Aymara, share some genetic traits with the Maya, the Maya's genetic profile reflects distinct evolutionary pressures. Their proximity to advanced Mesoamerican cultures, like the Olmec and the Aztec, likely introduced unique genetic influences, further differentiating them from other groups. The Mayan connection to other indigenous populations is a reminder of humanity's shared history but it also highlights the unique pathways that each culture forged. The Maya's blend of shared ancestry, high genetic diversity, and environmental adaptations make their DNA a fascinating outlier in the genetic story of the Americas. In essence, the Maya's DNA is a mosaic, a reflection of ancient migrations, cultural exchanges, and environmental resilience. While they share deep roots with other indigenous groups, their unique genetic traits tell a story that is undeniably their own. The uniqueness of Mayan DNA is not just a topic for historians or anthropologists. It has become a cornerstone for modern scientific research. Their genetic makeup is like a living archive, offering insights into ancient human migration, adaptation, and even the future of medicine. One of the most significant contributions of Mayan DNA is its role in understanding human migration patterns. The haplogroups Q1A2A1L54 and Q1A2A1A1M3, prevalent among the Maya, provide a direct link to the earliest migrations from Asia to the Americas via the Bering Land Bridge. These genetic markers help scientists trace the pathways of ancient humans as they moved southward through the Americas. What's fascinating is the relatively recent divergence of Mayan genetic traits, suggesting that their ancestors expanded rapidly through Mesoamerica driven by the rise of agriculture and the establishment of complex societies. But Mayan DNA doesn't just illuminate the past. It holds clues to how humans adapted to their environments over millennia. 
For example, immunogenetic markers in Mayan DNA reveal how their ancestors evolved to survive in the tropics. Traits linked to resistance against diseases like malaria and other tropical pathogens are preserved in their genetic code. Understanding these adaptations can inform modern research into immune system responses and disease resistance, with potential implications for global health. Another key area of study is the genetic diversity within Mayan populations. While the Maya share a surprising level of homogeneity across their groups, they also exhibit unique regional variations. For instance, the Yucatecan Maya display greater heterozygosity compared to their Guatemalan counterparts, likely due to historical trade and cultural interactions. These variations are invaluable for studying population dynamics, genetic drift, and even the impact of historical events like colonization on indigenous DNA. Mayan DNA has also shed light on one of the darkest chapters of their history, the arrival of Europeans in the New World. By comparing ancient Mayan genomes to those of modern Maya, researchers have identified genetic adaptations that likely arose during the Spanish colonization. These include immune system traits that may have developed in response to epidemic diseases introduced by the Europeans. Such studies are not just about the past, they offer a better understanding of how populations respond to new pathogens which is critical in an era of global pandemics. Finally, the study of Mayan DNA contributes to the broader field of genetics. By preserving the genomes of ancient populations, researchers can expand genetic databases, enabling future studies on human evolution, population genetics, and disease. The Mayan contribution to these databases is particularly valuable because their DNA represents a unique combination of ancient traits and environmental adaptations, providing a missing link in the genetic map of the Americas. In short, Mayan DNA is a scientific treasure trove. It bridges the past and the present, offering insights into ancient migrations, cultural practices, and evolutionary biology. But more importantly, it serves as a reminder of the resilience and ingenuity of the Maya, a civilization whose legacy continues to shape our understanding of the human story. The story of Mayan DNA is as intricate and fascinating as the civilization it comes from. It tells a tale of ancient migrations, adaptation to challenging environments, and the influence of culture on biology. But more than that, it reveals the resilience of a people whose legacy continues to thrive in their descendants and in the scientific discoveries their DNA enables. From their ancient origins in Siberia, crossing the Bering Land Bridge, to their settlement in the heart of Mesoamerica, the Maya crafted a civilization that was as advanced as it was enduring. Their genetic markers, haplogroups Q1A2A1054 and Q1A2A1A1M3, are not just relics of their past but a map of their journey, linking them to the broader tapestry of humanity's migration story. We've explored how Mayan DNA holds unique traits, from mitochondrial and Y-chromosome markers to immunogenetic adaptations. These genetic features set the Maya apart from other indigenous groups, reflecting their environmental challenges, cultural exchanges, and even the scars of historical upheavals like the Spanish colonization. Their DNA also highlights the interconnectedness of their city-states, where trade and communication fostered genetic diversity. At the same time, their shared ancestry across regions reveals a unifying thread that ties all Mayan groups together. This duality, unity within diversity, is what makes their genetic legacy so extraordinary. But Mayan DNA isn't just about the past. It's a scientific resource that helps us understand ancient human migration, genetic adaptation, and even how populations survive diseases. It provides critical insights that could shape medical research, offering a glimpse into how humans have evolved to overcome challenges, and how we might face new ones in the future. So, what makes Mayan DNA so unique? It's not just their ancient lineage or their genetic diversity. It's the story embedded in their genes, a story of survival, resilience, and adaptation that mirrors the journey of humanity itself. If you found this exploration as fascinating as we did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the mysteries of history and science. And tell us in the comments, what surprised you the most about Mayan DNA? Until next time, let's keep exploring the incredible connections that make us who we are.